All right, welcome back to Supplement Kitchen Reviews. Back again. Again, we're here. And today we've got something. Our friends at Water Buffalo Training Method and their buff sauce in the buff buffalo blue ice flavor. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, Water Buffalo Training Methods pre-workout, uh, their buff sauce, and um, if you remember, we had uh, Old School Matt, their owner and founder, on with us, uh, he told us a little bit about the brand, uh, a little bit about their intentions, upcoming things, cool, if you haven't checked that out, go check it out, super cool guy, um, they also have like a podcast, you can go try and find them on YouTube and other streaming platforms as well, so be sure to check that out. But this is their pre-workout, um, their buff sauce, Matt talks about it on our episode of the Honda brand, um, <clears throat> but it's a powder, it is fine, nothing crazy, nothing wild, so there is that. Uh, scoop size is 7.5 grams. Directions for maximum results take one serving, which is one scoop of buff sauce with 6 to 10 fluid ounces of water, 15 to 20 minutes prior to training. Never consume more than two scoops per day. Good advice. Uh, uh, so, all right, let's get into the flavor. We have Buffalo Blue Ice. Buffalo Blue Ice is the flavor, so. Yeah, it smells like a blue rice. Blue raspberry. That's what it smells like. Let's try it. All right. So, mixability and flavor. Mixability is fine. No issues, no chalkiness, no grittiness, no nothing like that. So, good job there. Flavor. Um, super subtle. Uh, I'd probably, I mean, blue raspberry is probably the what I'd compare it to. Um... But, but it's super subtle, not overly sweet. And, um, I think it's kind of like right there in the middle. It's not like undersweet and it's not like oversweet. And it's kind of just, just a blue raspberry. Not too bad. Um, you know, it is what it is. Blue raspberry is one of the oldest flavors. So it's just, it is what it is. So it's not bad. You can drink it. It's smooth. It gets the job done. So let's get into this label. So, you're getting 30 scoops per container at one scoop. <clears throat> you got your vitamin V, <clears throat> vitamin C at 250 milligrams. You got niacin, three, 30 milligrams. Vitamin B6 at 0 0.035 milligrams. Folic acid at 150 micrograms. Your vitamin B12, 20 micrograms. Calcium at 18.30 um, milligrams. <clears throat> now you got beta alanine at 1.5 grams, creatine monohydrate at one gram, L arginine, alpha glutarate, one gram, um, L citrulline malate, one gram, and acetyl L tyrosine, 500 milligrams. Then you got caffeine anhydrous at 250 milligrams, and then finally synephrine HCI at 30 milligrams. So there's a label. Let's talk about the ingredients really quick and kind of what benefits you should expect to see out of each ingredient. <clears throat> uh, so first you get your beta alanine. It's going to help with the overall performance. Uh, bro terms, most people know it for the tingles. So uh, Your creatine is going to help with like strength and, and power. Uh, remember creatine is a saturation ingredient, so you do have to take it uh, over time uh, consistently. To really see those effects, so um, just just keep that in mind. Then you got your L-arginine, um, which will help uh, increase uh, NO levels, uh, which will equal better blood flow pumps. Citrulline's kind of in the, in the same category there. It's going to help uh, your blood flow, uh, which is going to lead to better pumps and things like that. Um, 
your NAT, which is going to help with uh, focus, caffeine, it's your energy. So it's going to help you get through those workouts. And then you got your synephrine, which is going to help with like energy, um, mood, may help you sweat as well. So, all right. So there's the ingredients. Uh, this does outline uh, pulsating pumps, the big arm. And it's freaky focus with a brain and eccentric energy with like some pluses uh, and some hands that look like they're clapping. No sugar, no crash, no bulls, star, star, star. Um, so there is the what it outlines. Now let's talk about performance. Um, if you watch the behind the brand, Matt talks about the product itself, um, tells you kind of what the intended audience is of this product, um, and how they are going to be sort of changing things up, uh, adding more products and shifting gears as to expanding that targeted audience. So, um, <clears throat> for this, you know, for me, uh, you know, I think what this does is, is it's just a energy provider, um, for the most part, um, everything else is just in there. Um, you know, I mean the dosages, um, as far as the beta alanine, the creatine, um, citrulline, things like that are, are underdosed, um, for if you're looking for that clinical dose of, of those ingredients, they, they are underdosed. So, um, <clears throat> keep that in mind, but what I would compare this to is kind of like, uh, drinking like a raise energy drink to get through a workout. Um, that, that's kind of what it reminds me of is because it's really energy driven that that's really the biggest highlight I would say here. Um, just to give you a quick little kick to get you in, in and out of a workout, I would say. Um, but Again, you, here's the thing that Matt even mentions and um, tells you kind of what his tar targeted audience is. Um, you know, I wouldn't be that, that specific target audience. This is more, this is an entry level pre workout. So, a beginner pre workout, the, the way it is, is set up with one scoop, very just to kind of get your foot in the door, um, kind of see how you react to the ingredients. And then I would say this would be that that starting block for anybody who's, re who's getting into pre-workout um matt even talks about that as well as far as being a beginner um so but on a personal you know this, personally um i am going to rate it as far as how i felt um i do think it would be a good beginner pre-workout if i'd never take a pre-workout but for an experienced user like myself um i would definitely say this isn't anything that anyone who's taken pre-workout before is going to probably enjoy um, you know, like I said, I could see taking this if, if you were on the go and you needed something just to, just to kick you in, into a workout and kind of get you in that, that motivated mood. Um, but this is really comparative, I would say for me personally to like a raise energy drink, you know, to get like a maybe 30, 45 minute solid workout in. And then from there, not much to it. Um, but there is that, uh, you know, there's my thoughts as far as that goes. Uh, I do think beginner level pre workouts definitely there, um, but for experienced users, you're probably not going to get much from it. So keep that in mind. So there's my thoughts. There's that as far as the buff sauce goes. Uh, let's talk about ratings. Mixability, ten. Thing didn't have no issues. Nothing. So good job there. Flavor. You know, it's a blue raz. Um, so it's not like the best, it's not like the worst, and Blue Raz is just kind of overplayed for me. Um, um, eight is what it is. Uh, performance. Uh, you know, talk about it, and Matt even mentions you know this in our behind the brand. This is kind of a entry level like beginner type pre workout. This is their first product, um, so adjustments are being looked at as far as that goes to expand that targeted audience. Um, but for someone like me, in my personal opinion, uh, as far as this goes, you know, I think some of the dosages is, uh, do need to be adjusted, and Matt talks about working on some of that stuff now that they, they're changing things up. I'd probably say, you know, compared it to an energy drink, um, 
you know, probably six. Uh, overall, um, you know, overall, again, this is just based on me. Um, probably going to give it a six. So there's my thoughts. There's that as far as the buff sauce goes. Uh, do want to thank Matt um, for getting this over to me. Let me try it out. I'll tag them up here. Be sure to head over and check them out. They got a lot of cool stuff going on. It's not only supplements. They're expanding that part, but they do a lot of other cool things as far as apparel. Some of their apparel is really sweet. Um, Matt has a podcast as well. You can check that out. He, he He's providing tips and things like that all the time. So super cool guy. I'm excited to see what else they do. Also, love the play on the name, though, of this. It's super cool. Buff Sauce. Um, then you got this big ass bull right here, our buffalo drinking the sauce, and flexing on everybody, dude. So labeling was pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, um, I definitely enjoyed that. So, but I'm about all buff sauced out today. So later. <laughs>